Hey gang, today is a very, very special day. We are less, how many days are we till our wedding? Uh, like six days. Six days to our wedding, so friends and family are starting to fly in and our friends from the UK made it safely here, all safe and sound, and so they wanted to meet us at one of our favorite places, Animal Kingdom Lodge. So. Yeah. Do you guys want to come with us to Animal Kingdom Lodge? I know you do. Well, what, they got to do something, right, Trav? You got to come along. Come along. It's based off our name. And no, we are not checking in like we did recently, which was such a fun overnight stay. Definitely go check out that video when we came. But we are here for dining reservations at Boma. Travis has never been at all. I have only been for breakfast and it is dinner. So we are going to, we are going to Chow Town is basically what we're doing. I'm so super pumped, but let's head inside the Jamba house and see what's happening. like the trip when we stayed here also surprised me with these reservations. He had he'd been hearing me talk up the Boma breakfast and you were yeah. starting to get a little jelly. Yeah, we talked about the breakfast, so I was like, eh, we need to try the dinner. Yeah, you, if the plus, breakfast is good, you like know the dinner is gonna be good. Plus our uh, our friends from England really love love it too and I hear good things about it. So. And I think it's also kind of interesting you guys coming on vacation because since they were mainly coming for our wedding, they're actually not doing Disney, especially with the prices being a little bit higher. They decided to opt out, but this is a fun way to like get to do Disney without buying a ticket. Semi-free. Yeah. I mean, obviously you gotta pay for your meal, but yeah. Come. no park ticket. And yeah. you get that Disney, Disney feel. Yeah, so. you get the Disney it's feel nice without the full Disney price. So, but we have about two hours to our reservation, so we actually wanna head to one of our favorite lounges here to grab a little pre dinner cocktail. I think I want a, something that might be smoked and you can oh, you you know, something you eat in the park. You guys so already know. For it. A smoked turkey is what he wants. We had it for the very first time here at Victoria Falls and that's the lounge where we're going. Finally lounging at one of my favorite lounges to lounge at, Victoria Falls, and I'm actually with the people <laughs> who showed me it. They are here, Mr. Fall and Miss Krista. They made it from Jolly o Oh, and the lovely Stacy. <laughs> you guys made it. It was a lovely flight. I'd like to say that, but it really wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, little bit of turbulence. So they are deserving these awesome little cocktails. What did you get? The Mount Kilimanjaro. Ooh, so it's like a little Animal Kingdom Lodge margarita. And yeah. Paul? Smoked turkey. Smoked turkey. Travis? Smoked turkey. It's what the boys do. You guys it's like... smoked turkey. Oh, I taste smoked turkey. <laughs> e -e -e. Yeah, they're already making fun of me while we're waiting. And this is the Mount Kilimanjaro. It's our ultimate African margarita with Patron Silver Tequila, Vanderhelm Tangerine Liqueur, and Sweet and Sour with a splash of cranberry juice for $15. And here's the ever so beloved smoked turkey. It's Wild Turkey 101 Bourbon, Red Stag Black Cherry Bourbon, Grenadine and Minimate Lemonade with a hint of hickory smoke with Luxordo Gourmet Maraschino Cherries for $16. And Paul and Krista, they are actually, shh, don't tell anyone, but you guys are DVC members but not using your points this trip, correct? Sad times. <laughs> but not sad times, because she went That's up. what you thought, surprise. I know, right? <laughs> I thought, no. Yeah, right? <laughs> but she uh, went up to a DVC little cast member and like kind of struck up a conversation with him. Look what he gave Daniel. them. Daniel. Oh my gosh, and it's like a little Disney Riviera Resort print. Actually, three of them, so. They actually gave us two of them, so we I think we might put one of these in a little giveaway pile after the wedding, maybe before or after the honeymoon. We might do a little 
10,000 subscriber giveaway if we can get there. And then Krista just got like a little gin and tonic also and they have the Lotus Light Cube here that they have at Animal Kingdom so we got it. And I actually think I want to like change the color because you can change the color and put it in my smoked turkey now. What color should it be? Should it be like a changing one? Disco. Disco turkey. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Okay. Yeah, that way. It's like, you gotta move it around like rivers of light. Oh, it is like, like rivers of light. <laughs> and then it gets canceled by rain, yeah. but that's okay. <laughs> And while my friends are still hanging out at the lounge waiting for our reservation, I want to come out and see in the savanna if we can see any animals before it gets too dark. That is something that's the most fun when you come to Animal Kingdom Lodge. You gotta check out the animals. Right over here, Thank you so much. there are some animals. Look at this guy, first of all. Yeah. Chowing down on some food, I'm sure, with the animal enrichment that they just dropped off. And then right over here, look at this beautiful giraffe. Look at the coloring. We're so close. Like, I know I'm zooming in, but I can't even believe how close we are to this guy or girl. Chowing down on some dinner, which is what we're about to do. And see, it's things like that where if you are coming here on vacation and either are just gonna do Universal and not Disney, maybe you're just gonna come here and just be at a resort. It really does put you right at the parks. I mean, getting to see those animals, I feel like I'm at Animal Kingdom, even though I'm at Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's just so much fun to just get a dining reservation and be a part of the magic for sure. And speaking of the dining reservation, I think it is time for us to head to Boma. I'm so pumped for their dinner buffet. And as for right now, what makes me so excited about Boma is it still is one of the only buffets on Walt Disney World property. All the other all you care to enjoy dining offerings are you have to like pick one item and then eat that whole item the entire time you're at the restaurant where this is your classic buffet. There is gonna be a plethora of everything for us to try African inspired and so the breakfast was so so delicious they had some African inspired things so you could really branch out and try new things and then they also had your Mickey waffles so I'm sure with dinner here it's also kind of kind of be some things that everyone would like and also some things to like make a step outside of our flavor profile and try something new So much food in this dinner buffet. I'm gonna try to show you everything, but there really is a lot. They're starting you off with some sweet corn pudding right here, as well as some herb crushed potatoes and salmon with yaza sauce. And then right over here, we have some spiked pork ribs with tamarind honey barbecue sauce, as well as some African carved strip loin. And then right here is some Durban styled roasted chicken, as well as some boba thai, which is like a South African dish with ground beef, lamb, mushrooms, and egg. And then of course, for the kiddos, you have some chicken bites, mac and cheese, some penne pasta, marinara and meatballs, and corn, peas, and carrots. We have some peanut rice with coconut soy sauce and ginger, spiced green beans with golden raisins, West African black eyed peas with stewed tomatoes, and basmati rice. This is the soup section, Paul's favorite. This is the oxtail sou, the butternut squash soup, the sambal chicken chowder, and cote lavore, which is like a seafood gumbo. And then of course, salads, coleslaw, pasta salad, chickpea salad, tabbouleh salad, couscous salad, and North African cauliflower salad. And then there are a lot of bread choices as well as all of the desserts, you guys. You've got your classic cookies, your cupcakes, but this is what we are here for at Boma. They have unlimited zebra domes. Zebra domes is what Animal Kingdom Lodge is known for. You can buy them in all of their gift shops and restaurants, and in here, 
we can eat as much as we want. And then just so you guys know, here are their breakfast pricings as well as their dinner pricings. And they also do offer annual pass holder and DVC discounts. And we have an absolutely beautiful dinner spot. And everyone has already dived into their food. Travis with the double plate, it's how you gotta do it, Paul single plate, but that means there's going to be two or three more rounds. Krista, yours looks very healthy with the green beans and the mashed potatoes. Those green beans. They're so good. And then of course, jungle juice to go around. And if you guys don't know, jungle juice is basically what my favorite drink at the Polynesian is. It's pretty much pog juice that's in the back scratcher. So it's passion fruit, orange juice, and guava. And of course, you know, I double plated it too. I got all the meats, all the fixes, looking so delicious. That literally tastes like it's cooked in peanut butter. Like that a peanut it, butter rice. Well, it's yeah, it's a peanut sauce rice, right? But and I do love peanut sauce stuff, but that doesn't taste like the same as like what like a peanut sauce with chicken. That literally tastes like peanut butter. Peanut butter rice. Peanut butter. It's so straight wait, up peanut butter. It's straight up peanut butter. Do you love it though? I do love it. And I also <laughs> love this ranch. It's like an African ranch, but it's also got like a sweet afternote too. Yeah. I'm waiting for Your it. mind's gonna be blown. You gotta, you gotta try to find that recipe. <laughs> Watch. All right, allegedly peanut rice slash peanut butter rice. Let's see how it is. How do I say anything else? <laughs> Tastes very, very, very peanut buttery. This is one of my like insider's tips. Go ahead when you're walking through the line and get two plates. Get your meat and then get all your fixes on the side because sometimes the line can be really long. So you might as well get everything all at once and I definitely want to try this African style pork rib. It looks so juicy and delicious, so let's give it a try. And that's what I love about Poma. They are like introducing you to flavors that you would normally not try, but on dishes that you have tried. Like I've had many ribs before, but the actual seasoning on this rib is so delicious, so different, a little bit of spice to it, and a little sweetness to it, and it's literally falling off the bone. It is so delicious, and I can't believe I get to get more of them, even if I want. And now you guys know what comes after dinner is zebra domes. So let's go on a zebra hunt. This is some delicious fruit, mate, but I don't see any zebras yet. Oh no, I found one zebra dome over here. That's not enough, we need more zebra domes. So in case you don't know what exactly a zebra dome is, it is an amarella cream liqueur mousse surrounded by a layer of white chocolate which is drizzled with chocolate and chocolate shavings. Let's take a look inside of the, as the Brits would say, zebra, zebra. zebra domes. <laughs> Not zebra domes, but let's look inside. Oh my moose. It's literally like the best dessert. It's almost like a cheesecake, but it's not a cheesecake. It is so delicious. You can only get them here. If a cheesecake and a tiramisu had a baby, that's its love child. Yeah. It's its love child, and <laughs> I'm a child loving it for sure. <laughs> Such a delicious dessert. And a sweet little magical moment happened because they knew that we are getting married very, very soon. They brought us a little glass of champagne topped with strawberries and four cupcakes to share with our friends with a little congratulations butterfly chocolate on top. How sweet. What was your entree that stood out at home? I mean, honestly, I think the the rice itself. I'm going full vegetarian on you guys. You don't even need meat here. No, I mean, everything I tried was really good. I don't know, I keep saying it has like a sweet, like aftertaste to everything. I don't know what 
spices they use, but it's not like American spices. Yeah. And speaking of things that are not American, Paul. Hi. What was Proud your? Proud to be <laughs> But well, the subtitles go here. Yeah. <laughs> what was your standout? My old man suit. You love the soup. The soups here are brilliant, and Promise won't touch them because she believes that you've got to be 80 to eat soup. <laughs> However, no, the it soups. Was good. The soups and the tenderloin. Your standout entree? I am agreeing with Travis. It's definitely the peanut rice. Yeah. Sure. You got some more actually on your second round. I am, yeah. My second round to get definitely more of that rice because it's honestly just it's easy. It's so it's unique crazy. and it's delicious. It's like dessert and an entree. <laughs> well, what a fantastic dinner at Boma. Like I said, we are only about six days to our wedding, you guys. So events and going to Disney is getting a little hectic and crazy because we're gonna be going to Sarasota, where I'm from, to have our ceremony, our reception, our rehearsal, everything is gonna be there. So there is not a lot that we are able to do this week. It's a lot of wedding planning, but I'm so happy that we were able to pick up our friends and have a nice little date night here at BOMA. Like we were telling you, it is the perfect thing to do if you're coming into town and don't have park reservations or park tickets. It really puts you right in the magic and they definitely created that extra special magical little moment bringing us a little congratulations dessert. It's like putting me in the wedding feels already. I'm hoping to show you guys one more little Orlando vlog before we head to the wedding um, and then I'm hoping to obviously try to film something there. But thank you guys so much for coming along on this nice little dinner date to Boma here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Peace, love, and positivity and all the good things. Love you guys.